Hi, what are the elementary row operations? So there are three. The first one is about the switching. Okay, we are switching the interchange the row. And the second one is the multiplication. Multiply the row with a constant alpha where the alpha cannot be zero. This is one to get the one. And the last one is the addition. It's like the properties of determinant alpha rj plus ri. This one is using to get the zero during the process of ERO. So, and we are using ERO in the Gauss Jordan elimination for the solving system linear equation. So, we must express it as the augmented matrix. What is the augmented matrix? A is a matrix, I is an identity. So, there are few steps in finding inverse of matrix by using ERO. So, what is the whole idea for the ERO? Okay, we have to clear that everything will start from the augmented matrix. So, from the augmented matrix, we are applying the row operation to get the reduced augmented matrix. The changes part is changing from matrix A become identity and the identity automatically will become the inverse that we would like to find. So, the step one, we start from writing the matrix in read augmented matrix form for the augmented matrix form it depends on the dimension of the matrix a if the matrix a is two by two we will have two rows and four columns if the dimension is three by three it will be three rows six columns okay step two we are starting with the row operation and mostly we are using the multiplication to get the 1 adding to make the element become 0 because we want to form identity so first we are starting with the first column locking the A11 and the other two we would like to change it become 0 after that we start from second column locking the A22 the other two as a 0 and same goes to the third column we would like to lock in the leading diagonal A33 and the other must be 0. Once every element becomes 0 except the leading diagonal, we will using the row operation multiplication to convert the leading diagonal become 1. So at the same time, the left side already become the identity and the question mark it will be the inverse of matrix. So come to the last conclusion for the step 3 must be indicate A inverse is equal to the answer from the process of ERO. Let us proceed to some exercise from the lecture notes example 27A. Given the matrix A is a 2 by 2 matrix, so there are 2 row and 4 columns. Okay, start with the first column. We are locking the 2 and would like to changing the 7 become 0. So row 2 and row 1. Row 2 we need to change. Row 1 is helping. So we write down the number in a circle form. So a new row 2 will follow the formula 2 row 2 minus 7 row 1. Okay, we cross multiply and then we want to make the 7 become 0. So next we copying the first row because the first row does not change anything and the second row with the formula 2 row 2 minus 7 row 1 we label it as a 2x minus 7 y so we can using the calculator key in the 2x minus 7 y the y is represent the row 1 and the x is represent the row 2 so we start from first column until the fourth column we key in the x and y so the first column is the 7 and 2, so we get a 0. And the second column, we key in the 4 and 1, so you get the 1. And the third one is a 0, 1. And the last one is a 1, 0. So you get the values of 2. So row 2 change completely, and now we start with the second column. We are locking a22, we would like to change the A12 become 0. 
So the same thing, we write down 1, 1 because respect, respectively is a 1. Why are we using row 1 minus row 2? Because the number under the circle 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So now let us represent x as a row 1, y as a row 2. The second row we copy down because there is no changes. Okay, let us proceed to the calculator. Key in alpha x minus alpha y. And we will start from the sequence first column up to the fourth column. So we will key in x as a 2, y as a 0. So we get that is 2, copy down. And second column, x is 1, y is 1. We get that is a 0. Third column, x is 1, y is negative 7. We get that is a positive 8. And the last column, x is 0, y is 2. We get a negative 2. So now the elements except the leading diagonal completely become 0. So we would like to change the number under the leading diagonal as a 1. So second row, we no need to change. First row, we multiply with 1 over 2. So now the row 1 will become 1, 0, 4, negative 1. So by comparing with the reduce or mental matrix, we will get that the inverse of matrix A is 4, negative 1, negative 7, 2. So please proceed to the ERO part 2. That's all for today. See you. Bye.